Campbell and welcome to Sunfish Advisory Practical Guides. This video is entitled Six Reasons Why m and is for Everybody Now. We wanted to record this video because we've been having some pretty similar conversations over the past couple of months with a lot of different tech owner directors who are all loosely saying the same thing. You know, we're interested in the topic, but maybe a little bit in the future, or we think we're probably a year or two away from exit, uh, so come back and talk to us then. And we really wanted to make the point that there are lots of very, very good reasons why you want to be thinking about M&A and planning even for exit right now for the long-term value of your business. The number one reason that we think people should get involved in M&A dialogues and, and come to our event is a simple one. Why not? There is, frankly, very little to lose and an awful lot to gain by starting these dialogues and starting the thought processes right now. If you simply take the view that if you come to an event and it gives you just one good idea that could be worth hundreds of thousands, millions of pounds when it comes to exit or when it comes to making acquisitions, that's a lot of value, a huge amount of value. Or even if you just make one contact that could be potentially very useful to you further down the line, then again, for a very small investment of time and money, there's a huge, huge upside that we'd like you all to consider. The second reason is to give you a long-term view on exit preparation. So the further out you start the process, if you've got two, three years of data and reporting that's structured in a way that private equity or any potential trade buyer wants it to be, the more sustainable any valuation aspirations you might have are. So if you take the view that you're still two or three years away from any potential exit, this is exactly the right time that you want to get involved. And if your time horizons are even shorter than that, you definitely want to start the ball rolling right now. The third reason is related to the second reason, which is to understand where you are on valuation. And even more importantly, to understand how people like Sunfish and PE and other guys out there actually get to a valuation. I do talk to quite a lot of people who have valuation expectations that are perhaps a little bit unrealistic, but they don't understand the process that people like me go through when they're assessing businesses and trying to put a price tag on those companies. And the more you know about how people are valuing you today, again, the more you can take that long-term value to turn that five multiple into a six or a seven, Whereas if you don't understand how we got there, then that five might end up becoming uh, a four. The fourth reason is to optimize your capital structure and future shareholder returns. It's quite a common thing in telecoms and tech to be cash generative businesses. And I know a lot of companies out there that are sat on potentially seven figures worth of cash and they have no debt on their balance sheet. And that's really not an optimum way to create value. Uh, there are plenty of ways that you could put money in the bank and borrow against healthy uh, profitability and recurring revenues so that you can grow your business both organically and through acquisition to generate more value more quickly. And then you might end up in a position whereby you've had a 50 or 100% increase in shareholder value just by putting your balance sheet uh, to work. Reason number five, probably the simplest of all, is any business leader understands the value of networking. You can meet people who are in the same boat as you if you come to events like ours. You can meet people who are looking to help you. People looking to buy can meet people looking to sell. One or two very, very useful contacts will make any event uh, or any engagement highly worthwhile. And that's a big reason why for our own M&A event in November, we've got a free bar and a social element afterwards. The sixth and final reason to attend is, is simply the value of the event itself in terms of the investment in time and money versus the quality of advice that you're getting and indeed the breadth of that advice. So we have seven speakers from across the entire landscape, private equity providers, debt providers, analysts, corporate finance guys, entrepreneurs, people who buy and sell companies for a living, all there in one room both from presentations, through panels, and into networking, all there for you to pick their brains. Every single one of those speakers would have a consulting day rate that's two or three times higher than the price of a single ticket, so you're getting a phenomenal amount of value uh, for, for an afternoon and a very limited investment on money. 
and we think that the longer term view that you take, the greater the returns will be uh, for your business and your shareholders. So have a look below. We'll link some information for the event agenda and how you can pick up tickets. And hopefully we'll see you on the 23rd of November. Thank you. Thank you.